welcome to Alphabet Soup. I'm so glad you're here with me today. We are going to have a wonderful time learning about the letters of the alphabet and the sounds that they make. I'm so excited that you're here to join me. I would like to start uh, by telling you a few things about Alphabet Soup. First of all, it feels story time for three to five year olds and we're going to learn a different uh, alphabet letter sound every week. We are going to learn the American Sign Language sign for that letter and we are going to learn a word and a little bit about that word and the sign for that word. Um, every week if you email me uh, and register um, I will have a packet of activities for your child to do um, but make sure you email me so that I have enough to go around. Um, we are also uh, going to just really enjoy ourselves and have a great, great time. This is our first uh, recorded session, so bear with me as we fiddle around um, with our flannel board and all those fun things that we're going to be doing. Uh, and Okay, here we go. We're going to start with the get-together song. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. I'm so glad you joined me today. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. You ready? One more time. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, well done, my friends. Well done. Give yourselves a clap. All right. The next song we're going to sing, I think all of you know, um, at least you've probably heard it at least one or two times before. Oh, I have to move my board because we're going to need to see in just a minute. So, it goes like this. It's the alphabet song. Are you ready? Let's hear it. There's a dog, oh, a farmer and a dog. 
Hmm. I don't know. Let's see if you know. Oh, here we go. There's a letter. The letter B. And then we have the letter I. <laughs> then we have the letter. Uh oh. One letter. B I. Oh, here we go. The letter N. B I N. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. B. I. N. song yet? Do you know the song? B-I-N-G O Oh, let's see if we can get all of that in here. I don't know. Let's see. Shall we move our camera just a little? Alright, we're going to move our camera just a little. There we go. Oh, that's better. Now you can see. B-I-N Oh, G Oh, are you ready for the song? Do you know what it is? It's a fun one. Okay, here we go. Farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, oh. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O I N G O I N G O I N G O and Bingo was his name O Oh here we go What's a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O N G O N G O N G O and Bingo was his name O oh. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O G O G O G O and Bingo was his name O Oh no There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O O O O and Bingo was his name O Oh no there was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name oh And Bingo was his name oh Yay! Great work! Good job! Okay, my friends. Oh, are you ready for what's next? We're going to take down our dog. We're going to take down our farmer. I love that song. It's so much fun. Hi, my friends. Are you ready for your story portion of Alphabet Soup? Well, let's get started. Do you have your soup pot? Here we go. Okay. Alphabet Soup. Alphabet Soup. Yum, yum, yum. Learning the alphabet chore is fun. Alphabet soup, alphabet soup. Yum, yum, yum. Learning the alphabet chore is fun. Let's look and see what letter we have today. Oh, I'm looking. I see the letter. G. Oh, there it is, the letter G. Now, the American Sign Language letter for G looks like this. Can you see? That's it, G. Okay, now last time we talked about the hard sound for G, like you find in Gorilla. But today, we are going to talk about the soft G. And it sounds a little different. It says J. And it sounds like 
gingerbread. And oh, look, there's a gerbil. Yes, there's a gerbil. How many of you have a gerbil? But my favorite is a giraffe. Now, today, the sign for giraffe, the American Sign Language sign for giraffe goes like this. Pretend you have a long neck. That's right, that's the sign for giraffe. And I have a wonderful story today. It's called A Giraffe and a Half. It was written by Shel Silverstein, and he illustrated this as well. This is published by Harper Collins Publishers, and it goes like this, a giraffe and a half. If you had a giraffe, and he stretched another half, you would have a giraffe and a half. <laughs> if you put on a hat and inside lived a rat, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat. Oh my goodness. If you dressed him in a suit and he looked very cute, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit. If you glued a rose to the tip of his nose, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose. If a bumbly old bee stung him right on the knee, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit, with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee. Oh my goodness. If he put on a shoe and then stepped in some glue, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit, with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe. If you gave him a flute and he played tooty toot, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute. If he used a chair to comb his hair, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair. If he tripped on a snake who was eating some cake, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake. If he found an old trunk and inside was a, was a skunk, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a cake eating snake and a snake eating cake sorry about that and a skunk in a trunk oh my goodness if he met a fat dragon who sat in a wagon you would have a giraffe and a half with a hat with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon. Oh my.
If he jumped on a bike and rode over a spike, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in his suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike. Oh my. If a blubbery whale got a hold of his tail, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail. <laughs> oh my goodness. If he fell in a hole that was dug by a mole, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in his suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail in a hole with a mole. That poor giraffe. I wonder what happens next. But if you brought him a pole to climb out of the hole and the whale left his tail and went off for the mail, And he gave the spiked bike to a scout on a hike, and he left the fat dragon, cause his wagon was sagging. <laughs> and he gave his chair to a tired old bear, and he traded the flute to a bird for some fruit. And he told that old snake to go jump in the lake, and a man who bought junk bought the trunk with the skunk. And he gave the rose to a girl he chose, while the bee on his knee flew away with a flea. And he put the shoe with the glue on you. And that silly old rat ran away with his hat. And he put his suit in the laundry chute and he shrank another half. You would have a giraffe. Isn't that a wonderful story about a giraffe? I love that. And remember, the sign for giraffe looks like this. It has a long neck. That's the sign for giraffe. Thank you so much for joining me for Alphabet Soup today. I hope you love this story by Shel Silverstein called A Giraffe and a Half. Thank you so much. Bye.